There you are. Boy, have I got something cool to share with you this time. We are going to see how to create your own personal views. Let's dive straight into it. For this video, let's pretend you're the project manager for hospital expansion and you want to see all documents related to your project. Luckily, in this metadata-driven system, we know that all such documents will have this specific piece of information on them. By using this metadata as a filter, you can group all this information into a view. First, you need to decide what you want to see in the view and give it a descriptive name. This name will then be displayed in the listing area or, for instance, on the pen tab, but does not act as a filter. Next, you need to define the filter. If you have already taken advantage of the search options, this should look familiar. With a filter, you define what metadata conditions need to be met in the objects filtered into the view. Let's take a look at what you've created. Looks like a nice list of documents. For making sure your filter works as you planned, it's handy to add the metadata used in the filter to columns. Especially in more complex views, this is my way of checking that me and my M files talk the same metadata language. Now let's add grouping levels, or subfolders as you might say in a more traditional way and outside of M files. With grouping levels, you define how you want the objects to organize themselves within the view. In your project manager role, I suspect it would be beneficial to see all reports and memos, for example, in their own groupings. Again, let's use metadata for that. Here we go. You can add as many grouping levels as you want. All you need is the metadata from the cards. Creating multiple grouping levels in one view often results in time-consuming clicking back and forth. Instead, you can have column settings showing you the content of the view in more detail and sort the information according to the column settings. This allows you to see and manage your information faster than by navigating back and forth in folder structures. There, you now have your very own view. How neat is that? Literally. And if somebody saves a document that meets the metadata criteria of your view, the document will appear in the view without you having to do a thing. What the information is, is more important than where it is. Here's a practical example. What do I want? Food. Where from? Don't care. See you in the next video.